Hi guys, my name is Trin and today I'm here to do my 2022 life journal setup. I am very, very excited for this video. Actually, fun fact, this video was supposed to go up in like a month. However, I was just so excited for this video. So after I filmed it, I started to edit it, you know, like immediately. So here it is up like a month early. So it's very exciting. And of course, I do want to give a huge credit a huge credit a huge shout out to journal with chloe because of chloe i have started to do this kind of life journal thing like i think this is probably my third year if i'm correct so i did one in 2019 that was not the best but anyway i did one in 2020 i had two life journals in 2021 for today i'm here to do my setup for my life journal and real quick the journal that i'm using is of course from archer and olive this one is a little bit different just because this is not a like a bullet journal it's actually like a sketchbook i believe so the pages are blank which is actually what I want for the new year so I'm very excited for this of course I am putting stickers on the front cover so most of these stickers are from Redbubble the butterfly stickers are actually from Target so there's like a bunch of sticker sheets and you know I really love butterflies so it's actually like a thing I always need butterflies on the front covers of my journals <laughs> And now for the inside flap of course i wrote my name and i think the memo pad is from unicorn eclipse i will have the links to everything down in the description box below but of course um it says you know like my name trin but then i also have this sticker called called no it says taylor's version so this is actually from redbubble i love taylor swift and i thought it'd be funny if it says trin taylor's version okay like it's just i don't know i think it's really funny so yeah i did that and then on the left page i put four polaroids of like my dog my boyfriend my mom myself basically these pictures were taken in um you know 2021 just last year so i really want to have like some cute um polaroids of the people in my life on the left page <music> And now the very first spread in this life journal. So on the left page, I have the title page. And then on the right page, I have things to look forward to. So let's quickly talk about the left page. It's very cute. I love the way it looks. The brown paper that you see me using, I actually use it in almost every spread. So that's really nice. And then of course, this picture, I actually commissioned someone to draw this picture of me. So it's basically me. Um, <laughs> I'm holding Bulbasaur, Happini, and Tokepi on my shoulders. And I think it's really cute. So yeah, that's basically the picture. And then of course, I use my my stamps i actually use stamps quite a lot in this video and i'm very proud of myself because basically i keep forgetting that i have stamps that's actually like my not my biggest downfall i'm being dramatic but it's just something that i keep forgetting that i have so i finally use some stamps and i basically type type out is that the right word but i stamp out 2022 life journal and then of course the date when i started this journal and then when i complete this journal so i started this journal january 12 2022 so i think i started this journal late at night <laughs> so yeah that was just me being very very excited to finally film this video And then on the right page, I have things to look forward to. So I'm just going to briefly like talk about the things that I'm very, very excited about in the year 2022. Spring and fall semester of grad school, spending more time with Jonathan, my friends, and my family, my job. <laughs> I literally said it's not that bad. And honestly, it's really not that bad. This is like a job that I actually enjoy and I do love my coworkers. So, you know, that makes it 10 times better. A possible trip to Chicago to visit Sandy. I really hope this will come true, okay? Like I haven't seen Sandy in three years. 
years and I really miss her and honestly I think it might happen we will see oh my goodness this is so exciting I'm going to two concerts in 2022 so the very first one is a Dua Lipa concert with Rebecca that one is in March and then of course I'm seeing Olivia Rodrigo which is so crazy but I'm seeing her in May with Jonathan Katie and Britney so I'm so so excited for those concerts three year anniversary with jonathan my 24th birthday i don't want to talk about it i guess it's exciting but at the same time i'm growing older which is not something that i want <laughs> but anyway planet her vinyl coming out in may more re-recordings from taylor swift obviously oh yeah this one evermore long pond studio session miss taylor swift i need you to drop that i need you to put that on disney plus i desperately want that Evermore Long Pond Studio Session. You don't understand. I really, really want it. And then, of course, the very last thing is Jane of Thorns by Cassandra Clare. Those are the things that I look forward to. Please let me know some things that you are looking forward to for this year. And now my 2022 vision board. I have to say this came out way better than I thought because honestly, I was very scared that I just had too many pictures because I did. I think I have at least 10 pictures for this one spread. And honestly, that is definitely a lot. So I tried to like size it correctly. So I made all of the pictures very small. So yeah, everything fit in here, which is so surprising. So I honestly just love the way this looks. So of course, I'm just going to briefly talk about my vision board, I guess. So of course, I have some pictures of you know my family my friends my boyfriend my grandma my dog those are some very important people in my life and of course some things that I really want to happen so I need to start working out again okay I was doing so well last year but then I got super busy and not just that the weather got so cold that I just did not want to run outside anymore and then eventually I just stopped working out altogether so I really really need to start working out again I think it's just better for myself you know and I just need to <laughs> like I really need to work out again and then of course some other hobbies that I really love journaling reading oh yeah I'm, I'm trying to get back into cooking well I never really got into cooking let's face it but I definitely want to learn to cook a lot you know like cook different meals this year I really need to do that because oh my goodness I'm so lazy when it comes to cooking so I want to learn to do that you know this is so embarrassing I'm literally like older <laughs> but um yeah I need to start to learn how to cook like cook better meals you know and then of course I am going to grad school I'm literally in grad school so I put some pictures of like you know studying I don't know I basically got these pictures pictures from like google images and also what you call it um what's that place oh yeah pinterest <laughs> oh my goodness and then of course i have dua lipa olivia rodrigo and then like a picture of the concert just because i am going to two concerts in 2022 and i really hope i can go to a few more but we will see but i know for a fact i am seeing dua lipa and olivia rodrigo in 2022 i use my stamps to write out good health and then productivity because good health obviously we're still in a pandemic i'm very scared but as long as as, you know the people in my life are healthy and I'm healthy then that's very very important and I really really hope that you know we can combat this disease disease this virus there we go and then of course productivity I really want to be productive this year like in all aspects of my life so those are the two things that I really want to focus on in 2022 
The next spread is my 2022 gold spread. I will say I really went all out with this spread and I really love the way this looks. I actually got inspired by Amanda Rachley because she did this quite a few times. I don't know what this is called but it's like a Dutch store I guess. I don't know but it's like really fancy and like I said I really went all out. So this is really hard to explain but it requires you to have a few pages and basically you're creating like a flap so you fold one page in and then the other page in also so you know the whole point is to create a flap and then you glue things down and then I put up pictures and yeah that's basically it I'm so sorry it's really hard to explain honestly it was not that bad it was honestly fun to figure things out and honestly I keep saying that I'm so sorry I had a vision in mind about this spread it basically came true so for the sides I basically had like brown paper and then I post posted oh my goodness I keep saying that I put up pictures that is very aesthetically pleasing you know so shades of brown neutral and it's basically pictures of like the computer and reading and journaling and books for the flap I want it to be black so I used the black cardstock paper from Michaels and yeah I basically just like pencil it out I cut it and then I glue it to the flap in the journal so I hope that makes sense but basically it looks pretty I love the way this looks it's just so cute that's basically the outer appearance of like the whole 2022 goals flap thing so and then of course I use my stamps to um, type out 2022 goals and then I cut it up and then I put it in the middle of the journal And of course when you open the flap I basically put down some line papers because the whole point is to write down the goals that I have for this year however I really want things to be separated so I have like personal goals education goals work goals and then affirmations so those are like the four columns you know like that's like the headings for the four columns is what I meant to say but yeah I use my stamps once again and honestly I really enjoy using stamps in this video I really hope I can use more stamps in the future <laughs> again I keep forgetting that I have stamps so I just I need to use them and now the next spread basically this is like a spread for like the albums that I really want to listen to I will say I was not a big fan of this spread you know I was just kind of confused on like the way it's gonna be format this is like the best solution <laughs> so yeah it's cute and all but at the same time it's not like my favorite spread that I have done in this video as of right now I have nine albums that I just really want to listen to and I'm glad that I left a page blank on like the next page <laughs> obviously because if I want to listen to like an album I can just print out the picture and then put it in this journal so let's talk about the nine albums that i want to listen to rumors after hours woman in music part three dua lipa chromatica to pimp a butterfly hot pink star cross and then kid crow i know a good chunk of like the singles from these albums however i have never listened to the entire body of work i think the one that i will prioritize more than the other is dua lipa just because her concert is in march yes the concert is for future nostalgia however i'm pretty sure she will play songs from her previous album which is Dua Lipa. I know like the single New Rules I think. I'm not gonna lie I was not a big fan of this song. I really prefer her second album more than the first but at the same time I have never really listened to the first one. I know the song with Blackpink. That's basically it so I definitely want to listen to the entire album. If you have any music recommendation for me please let me know because you know I'm trying to like expand on my music taste. I keep listening to like the same thing over and over again and of course it's comforting but at the same time I definitely want to listen to other new music you know like new artists that I just don't know and all that fun stuff so yeah please let me know what is your favorite album I would love to hear
and now the final portion of this video these breasts right here they were challenging just because again i had like a vision in mind but it just didn't work out so i had to change things up and honestly i'm not mad about this new change of course i have to give a huge credit to amanda rich lee so she always does this like yearly highlight reels i think that's what she called but basically at the end of the month you would print out like a polaroid and then you put it in your journal so it represents like a month kind of thing well that's such a bad explanation but basically for this year i had a vision in mind my vision was to print out two polaroids per month because of course i want more options and honestly i was trying to follow like the guide the guidelines the format that she does in her 2022 bullet journal setup however it just didn't work out for me so my solution is to have three spaces for the polaroids per month and then of course each month has its own page so i hope that makes sense i hope you can see that on the big screen so of course the left page is for january and then of course i left three spaces for the month and then the right page is february and then of course the same thing three spaces for the month so basically i'm doing this until june the goal is to fit six months into this one journal because i truly believe i will journal a lot and i can definitely fit six months into this one journal so that is very exciting but yeah that's basically my um solution to this whole thing because again i was planning to have two spaces for one month but that's not gonna work out so three spaces for one month is perfectly fine i will say i'm going to run out of my polaroid um which the film yeah oh my god <laughs> i think i'm gonna spend a good chunk of my money on polaroid film i hope not a lot but still definitely more than i should January 2022 if you have seen my previous video then you have seen this kind of thing so I'm doing a Pokemon theme yeah for January 2022 I like to be consistent with my journals so obviously if the theme for like one month is Pokemon then it's gonna be the same thing for all my journals I hope that makes sense but basically in my live journal I'm just doing this Pokemon theme on the left page it says January and then of course I'm using this website to do the font and then on the right page is basically my to watch list so these are the th well actually I didn't write down anything in the video sorry but there are some things that I definitely want to watch in January so like for example I really want to re-watch WandaVision so I'm trying to do that and then I'm trying to watch Don't Look Up, Euphoria but yeah that's basically it oh my god I've been here forever <laughs>
basically it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I honestly love this journal. I love the front cover. I love the spreads that I did towards like the beginning of the journal. I honestly love the vision board spread and the 2022 gold spread. So those are my two favorite spreads. But yeah, please let me know what is something that you love <laughs> in this video. Like some spreads that you really like. And also please let me know what is a goal that you have in the year 2022. It can be big or small. It doesn't matter. I would love to read about your goals for the new year. So yeah, happy new year. I know I'm like two weeks late. I hope 2022 is a really good year for everyone. So yeah, that's basically it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos and I will see you guys later. Goodbye. You mean bread and butterflies? Oh yes, of course. Hmm?